Hello everyone, this is Sharmin Khan from Milky Way Art Design. So today I have this 20 inch by 20 inch gallery wrap canvas and I have taped and everything. I am going to go and make a big um, modified bloom and I will go off whatever the colors I have mixed already a while ago. So I'm going to go off that. Um, wish me luck. So let's spread the base coat first. Today my base coat is gray and there's a teensy bit of brown I think mixed into it which is a very contemporary color. So um, I am going to use it up because I have a little quantity left in my tub so I hope I have enough for this project. And um, Instead of, usually I make green leaves first, uh, first layer today, what I'm doing is I am going to swipe because I am kind of getting the hang of swiping and I like the effect that swiping gives you. You will get a lot more cell than just a bloom with swipes. So I am going to swipe all the sides to start with and then I will layer my flowers.
as you can see that the lack of my uh, base coat is kind of making my swipes to uh, get holes here and there so I'm using the spatula uh, to fill up the whole entire um, sides because that's why uh, that's what I intended to do to start with I have a lot of paint in the center. I have to spin it up as much as I can to uh, get rid of the extra paints from the center. Therefore, I am trying to avoid any kind of cracking when it dries. The idea behind spinning is the more you spin, you can control how much paint you have left in the surface because uh, when you spin, all the paint tends to spread out and tries to fall off of the um, canvas. That is if you have too much paint, but if you don't have too much paint, it will not happen. And also it depends on, on the thickness of your base coat as well. So if your base coat is thicker, it will take you more time to make sure that all the paints are, uh, all the extra paints are gone from your canvas. So in this particular um, piece, you will see that I have to spin it a lot because there was way more paint in the center than I need it.
now at this point i feel like i have reasonable amount of paint i have um like they have drifted on the sides so it's time to start on the flowers this is opaque white i'm going to create Three flowers For the opaque white, I am using golden titanium white. And for the next color, I am using TLP's uh, sequence, which is a really pretty iridescent color. And I'm really excited to see how it turns out. As you can see, when you work on a kiddie pool, your hand is going to be so messy. I just checked with the stick that how much paint do I have on my canvas. I'm just making sure that it doesn't crack in the process. The color that I'm adding right now, I'm really excited about this one because this one is basically a combination of Bling It uh, Gold Sparkle from Color Art, and I mixed some uh, interference gold with it. So between the two golds, it should be really shimmery. Oops, I have a lump there, so let me take care of that. So yeah, I am... Uh, hoping that these extra golds and shimmers will give the piece a really um, rich look because that's what I'm going for. Um, the reason I'm, go I'm thinking about a lot of bling and um, uh, sparkles in this particular piece is because the colors are pretty uh, neutral, close to neutral. And so I think that extra, uh, extra bling will pop out a lot and it will look really pretty at the end of the day. The last color that I'm adding here is called Rose, Rose Quartz from TLP. This is also another interference color. And so um, as you can see, I put an opaque white at the bottom. And on top of that, I used three. All three of them are kind of interference colors. It's not... Um, like bright color uh, it should highlight the white and on top of that i am using of course my 24k gold and then i will add my cell activator which is going to be a black cell activator and then i will blow
After doing the third flower, I felt like it can use the fourth one, so I'm going for it right now.
should stop now i'm really happy i'm just thinking that on those two corners i'm going to add some extra um maybe not flowers but flower buds when it dries right now i'm not going to use any pouring technique over there later on when it dries i can always go back and i can embellish it and i'm going to put couple more couple of uh, semi or half flowers or flower buds on the sides to just complete the composition so for now i am really happy with what i have thank you so much for watching my video today this is not my usual color palette but i hope you liked it until next time bye